Hey, good day, super excited. How are you doing? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Hey, I'm also, how are you doing, bro? Good, good to have you on today. Yeah, longest time indeed. Longest time indeed. Super excited. You guys are welcome to another financial freedom with Mayowa Owolabi. And this comes up every Saturday, um, 7 p.m. West African time. And this helps us to be able to talk about business and how you can scale up in your several skills. As an entrepreneur, I've learned to understand that a lot of time we just need to um, apply some principles to our businesses to be able to scale up. And I've seen quite a lot of people who don't have access to these uh, different models that can, they can use to scale up in their businesses. And as a, as a, as a CEO, a founder of several companies, I've been able to um, implement some principles, models, patterns that I've been able to repeat over and over again. So whenever I come on Saturday, I come in here as an entrepreneur to be able to engage with you in your businesses, things you've learned over the years that you want to really implement and you need some guidelines on. And for the past 18 weeks, we've been talking about 100 skill set that anyone can have that they can use to make a lot of money for themselves. And this is more like an introductory to a lot of these business models that everyone can, can uh, um, leverage with. And I do tell people that the missing link uh, is always to first start with what you want, the, what you want to achieve. So if you can start with what you want to achieve, or you cannot even move to how you're going to get there. So for me, I strongly recommend that everyone who wants to really become successful need to first identify a path that he or she is going to start with. And that's what we do whenever we come to the Financial Freedom uh, webinar every Saturday. And we've spoken about several business models. We spoke about affiliate marketing, where I gave you several examples of how I make money with affiliate marketing and how I've been able to consistently grow an audience around that which I have known. And I, I remember some people were asking questions, Mr. Mayawa, how can I get better at it? Uh, what, how can I use affiliate marketing for my business? And I had to do a breakdown to let people know that every business you see outside there today, there's an affiliate, affiliate model around it. Okay, so for example, if you, you guys know I, I trade Forex, I trade crypto, and I use a broker, so for me, anyone I teach Forex, I can give them the link for them to use the broker that I'm using. So let's say, for example, you are into air salon, you're into air beauty, and uh, when, where, you, uh, where you buy your materials from, you can actually register as an athlete where anybody you teach air beauty can go there and buy, and you will get commission for it. And there are several ways you can approach affiliate model. So uh, uh, that's an, an amazing model that anyone can use to their businesses and you can scale up. Okay, so the same thing, uh, I also spoke about uh, uh, technical writing, where people need to learn how to write, not as writing a book, but writing manuals, documentations, product development, product, you know, product breakdown. There are some people who just focus on that and they are making good money. And all of these skill set, they are digital, digitally backed up. And because they are digitally backed up, it means that you can leverage on the digital space to be able to grow that part of you. And I said it over and over again, we're going to 100 and you don't need to do all at once. So it means that you don't even need to do all. You just need to identify one, scale up with that one, and make money for yourself. 
See, it's not just about you uh, 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 um, doing so many things. You can actually just stick to one, identify one, and build that one in such a way that they, they, it has streams, uh, 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 several streams that is branching out of it. And all of this you can do over and over again when you have this better understanding. So one more time, I want to welcome you to Financial Freedom with my will be every Saturday, 7 p.m. West African time. And I'm really pumped up about a lot of you who are online. Uh, uh, La Sisi Ola Dimidji, thanks for joining. Emmanuel M. Menike, thanks for joining. La Sisi said, uh, thank you for, for, thank you, thank you so much for your training. You're welcome, my brother. So what we want to do for the next um, one minute is to click on the share button. Let's share this training so that other people can have access to this training for free. Okay, so let's click on the share button. Click on the like button. Um, it makes a lot of sense if you can help us share because there are a lot of people around you that need help and you want to help them get there too. So your own contribution might not just be giving them the knowledge, but you're also allowing them to have access to that same knowledge. So guys, let's get to work. Make sure you click on the share button, click on the like button, and you're good to go. So there are so many of these skill sets that we've been able to make mention of. We spoke about blogging. Uh, we spoke about uh, website development. I remember I shared my story that I started as a website developer, uh, develop uh, designer. Okay, you can do drop shipping. You can do copywriting. Okay, you can do copywriting. You can do social media management. All of this you can leverage on the internet. You can do virtual assistance. Okay. So all of this you can leverage on and you're good to go. So let's get busy. Today's topic, we're going to be dealing with event planning. And really why I'm interested in this event planning for you all today is not just because you want to be an event planner, but an average skill set that you see outside there today, there is an event part of it. There's what is called event model for every skill set. So what does that mean? It means that let's say you're into you're into training, you're going to be putting together events. Let's say you're into uh, website design, you're going to be putting out an event. You're going to be, so whatever you do, you want to put, you, you want to understand how event planning works and how you can implement it into your business. Okay, in 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 March, uh, sorry, in um, in the month of June, we're going to Ibadan. We're going to be having well, uh, the, uh, not too young to be rich in Ibadan. Is an event that we're putting together over a thousand youth in the city of Ibadan. Now, I'm not an event planner. I have people that work with me as um, people in charge of the event model, uh, my event. But I want to have a basic understanding and how important this can be. So these are the reasons why you must always come in for this training. Because that's what that is free. Somebody paid for it. Like, yeah, somebody paid for it. Okay, so good. So I, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited over and over and over again because when you learn this it's going to help you for good so let's get busy with today's session let's uh let me share my screen so we can get this rolling um I want to see how it's showing on so on my social media, on my Facebook, on my YouTube. On my YouTube. Okay, fantastic. So we're good. Good. So, what is event planning? Okay, so event planning. The objective of this training is for you to understand event planning learn event management processes, and learn the business of event planning. Good. So what is the meaning of event planning? An event plan, an event plan de defines how an event will be executed. It addresses all the components of an event, such as the start and the end dates, your budget, the venue, 
the marketing, the attendees, and more. So whenever you talk about event planning, you can actually be an event planner and you can actually do this event planning for yourself, for your business. And no matter the type of business you're doing, event planning is one of the amazing ways that you can use to scale up more and more. So you want to ask yourself, what is the start date of this event? What is the time of this event? What's the budget of this event? What's the venue that you want to use for this event? And what is the marketing um, model that you want to use to get the attendees to attend this event? Then how many attendees are you looking at? Okay? And many more. So the scope and complexity of this event plan can vary depending on the size of the event, but the fundamental challenges remain the same. So most of us um, have experience planning an event, be it at home, work, and several other areas uh, um, around our work and even our community. For this article, let's, uh, for this purpose, let's just focus on a large event because you want to know more, okay, and what it entails. So we have... Uh, the difference planning and organizing an event, the difference, okay? Event planners' goals are to design and execute memorable event that would fulfill their clients and attendees' wishes. So according to Collins Dictionary, the definition of, of planning is the process of deciding in detail how to do something before actual actually starting uh, actually start to do it so it means that when it comes to anything called planning it is the process of deciding the details of what you want uh, uh want to see or what you want to have in your event or in that program so in contrast collins dictionary defines organizing as the activity or skill of coordinating people and the first thing to consider, coordinating people and events. So basically, so every time it, uh, I think of a particular program or an event I want to put together, I want to think through it as the activity that I'm going to be using to coordinate the event. Okay, so the reason why a lot of businesses go big is really one of the ways is because of the attending event, um, putting together event. Because somebody will say, oh, Mr. Mayo, I don't want to know anything about event planning. Hey, you need to. If you're an entrepreneur and you want to break more grounds, you have to organize event. I learned event from one of my mentors. And um, I, I said, it changed my mentality about how events should be done. He doesn't do an event in a less uh, 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 um, location. Like, he doesn't do event anyhow. He does his event at the high brow area, Sheraton Hotel, um, or, um, Radisson, which was pre pre previously Protea, Protea Select. And some amazing time he does these programs free. Like, do you guys go there? Free. And I'm asking myself, how will you pay for a, a, an event or a hall that will you be spending 200000 300000 and you are putting that event together for free? Then I had to understand that it is not just about the location. It's, it's not just about you rendering a service or rendering a product company but you can actually leverage on that to get more people to know you offline and you can do business with them. And I'm really excited about my learning curve, guys, because it makes a lot of sense for me. And I strongly recommend this model for every entrepreneur, no matter the business you're doing. If you're a writer, put together a book event. If you are, uh, if you're an athlete marketer, put together an athlete event. If you're a forex trader, put together a forex event. If you're a crypto trader, put together a crypto event. If you are a business owner, put together a business, an event related to your event, to your program, to your business, sorry. So that will help. 
So let's get busy with this because now that we've broken it down, that you need to be detailed about what you want to achieve. We have key elements of event planning, which a lot of you need to know. Okay. So the first thing to consider when planning an event is the date. That's an anchor that can't change. You will also want to estimate the number of attendees. Now, this will be two critical elements that will help inform the other aspect of your event planning. So, for example, we have, we have a major event coming up in, in August. Okay, and uh, our, the location is Charlton Hotels and Towers. Now, one of the things that made us to choose Charlton was because 19th of August is available. So that date will determine where you're going to be using. Or you make sure the date, the date can be depend, the, where you're going to be using can be dependent on your date, or your date can be dependent on where you're using. So let's say, for example, I don't want to pick a date, but I just want to go to Charleston Hotel and tell them in the month of August, which of the dates or which of the Saturdays are available. So I can plan depending on their detail. But either to or fro, what matters is that you need the date. And you also want to know the number of attendees. How many people will be attending this event? Now, as a business person, uh, the, the event that we are having is called Money Matters, um, Money Matters Submit. It's going to be, we're, going, we're, we're putting together about uh, 500 people in a room. I want to share an amazing deep nugget with them that can help them to be able to succeed as a business owner, uh, as an entrepreneur, to know more about money. And that event is going to be one of the talk, talk of the town. We're going to be, we're going to be on Google. We're going to be on, on, on all the platforms that people can use to know more about the event. But guys, the numbers, the date, they are so critical to the success of the event. So when you have all of that in, in place, then you can now break it down to other components that can enhance you to be able to meet uh, to meet your goal or the, 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 the purpose of the event. Okay, so number one, you want to talk about the breakdown of the event. First, you must have an event of some sort to plan. Of course, that event is going to require a series of responsibility resolving around its operation, legal and account duty. So you want to do a breakdown of the event. Number two, you want to do a breakdown of your budget. What's it going to cost us? Okay, so the, the, the coming event is going to cost us about eight million now. Okay, eight million is about 10, 11,000 US dollars. So all I want to do is okay. So does that is that phone available right now? Now, if I put in eleven thousand dollars. Uh, yeah, eleven thousand dollars in an event. Now, what is my expectation from this event? Do I just want people to come to this event and go home? I need to put all of that together so that I will understand. Uh, I can have clarity of what I'm expecting from the event. So the budget is very important. Now, also the budget has a lot to do with your venue because if the venue alone. It's going to be costing you three thousand, five thousand dollars without other bills. It means that you have to be very careful because you're still going to have marketing, you're still going to have advertising, you're still going to have these and all that things that has to be in the budget. So before you conclude on your budgeting, you want to have a breakdown of what is going to cost you to be able to run such. And if you want to be an event planner, this is the same thing you want to run for. The, the 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 people organizing the event so you, as an event planner you want to do a breakdown of the person's budget and when you have the person's budget you can now plan with that person's budget now venue the venue of the event has to take place somewhere and that involves the logistics logistics management food beverages and so many other things even with decoration so the person that is in charge of my project of my event she had to do a breakdown of how many, if, how many people are coming, the food they're all going to be eating, the, the DJ that is going to be coming, the MC that we're going to be using, the decoration. Is it a light decoration or a full decoration? And she, when you, she, got talk, she got talking with me on that, I said, I quite understand. So what I need you to do is to do a breakdown of this and how we can make this happen. 
The next part is what? Marketing. Now, once you have selected the venue, you need to start drawing people to it through marketing programs that include website campaigns, social media campaigns, email, and printing works. So we want to begin to run campaign. So from the month of June, we're going to be running campaign till the month of August. Full campaign for about 70 days, we're going to be running campaign for that program. And it's going to be amazing. Even the speakers are excited. But guys, the marketing is critical because that is what's going to make it work. So advertising also and in glove um, and in glove with marketing is advertising that can include radio, TV, newspaper, and magazine advertisement. Okay, so you want to spend quality money or depending on your model, okay, you could do radio advert, you could do TV advert, you could do newspaper advert, you could do social media advert. But for me, I recommend that you must have uh, um, tested the, the industry to know what works for your kind of event so you don't uh, spend too much money, okay? And you can build on it. Let's say you have more strength on social media, you want to do a lot on social media so that in the next coming event, you can now add up other advertising, advertising, advertising model that can help you get that. Okay, the next one is volunteers. You want to put together volunteers. Uh, the event we are having in the city of Ibadan, we need volunteers. As a matter of fact, one of the volunteers has all his friends as uh, one of the people that are leading some um spiritual bodies in in Ibadan. and that's making a lot of sense for me because you want to have the understanding that this event is not just going to be about you so and as an event planner you want to tell the big event owner that hey we need volunteers that can work with you and you want to have such people uh in the planning because they will be giving because a lot of time these volunteers have several experiences and they can recommend they could help they could even go to those places that you as the owner of the event cannot go to so it's very important that you harness the volunteer model so a big event needs a big crew of people to get it off the ground and run smoothly that means that volunteers which means writing contract defining their roles setting up meetings and uh, determining schedules all of these are important uh, for the event i'm having in the month of I'm, I'm i'm going to buy four places uh yeah four cities uh and i, I want to reach out to a thousand youth and i want to help them to know that they are not too young to be rich so i need an average of 50 to 100 volunteers to put that together. So it's very important that you can leverage on all of this and have a better understanding that this is what is needed for me to have a pleasant event. Now, the next one is uh, is speakers, the people that will be speaking at the event. So you want to get, this will involve, you need a contract with them. You want to get the, the talent that will be speaking there the experiences they have, the rehearsals. You need a keynote speaker or group of speakers, okay, at your event, okay? That will help. So you also need sponsors. All the cost, all this cost money and the big event budget is supplied by its sponsors, okay? So this will, again, involve contracts, marketing, logistics, because for the people that you want them to sponsor this or that particular program, you need to put a pro, uh, you need to put an offer for them to be able to do business with you, and that will allow you to be able to get more money apart from you using your money. Okay. The next part is production. Production is also very important. Let me show you guys that with me. Fantastic. Hey, Joe Grace. Hi, everyone. Hey, brother. Well done. Show you guys are with me.
so productions are very key uh the production is going to involve creating contracts as you work on creating an audio visual recordings of pro uh of the proceedings as well as sound video broadcast during event production is very very good it good is like it will help you because for some of the event that we are you're going to be organizing it's going to be having both virtual and uh uh virtual and um, and physical okay so you want to have such plans in place for production you need stages that people will be standing on to talk from you need the attendees don't forget about the people who are coming to the event you will need to communicate you need communications to inform to inform them of the event information payment process if you don't be a paid event and so many other areas emails to stay in touch with them direction to the event place badges okay like um yesterday i was at the beach and there was a badge that was used uh for 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 the gate pass okay at the access point they used that on me uh when there were my wife and couple of friends to hang out at the beach yesterday and we had to do all of that because uh, they had to do all of that because they don't want anyhow anyhow person to come for the event or coming to that location so the planning and taking care of the attendees is very very important so when it comes to the attendees you want to talk about how do you want to follow up with them how do you want to reach out to them how do you want to keep in touch with them how do you want to direct them what are the things you're going to be needing at the access point all of that is very important to have a good event planning process so for someone who wants to really get busy with the event planning business what are the things that are very important to have number one step one you have to determine the goal and objective of the event what's the goal why are you doing this event okay number two assemble your team you need to have a team that will be working with establish a budget i want to spend a million naira for this event okay um x amount of money for the event x amount of money for advert x amount of money for special appearance x amount of money for so that is how you have to budget for your event okay choose the date and venue so if you are an event planner you have to work with the person what is the date you want to use what's the event that you uh venue you want to use and all of that then select the speakers then number six event marketing advertising and execute executing your event so all of this is the process that you have to follow through to be able to have a, an amazing event and we have set several types of events for, for those that want to do this as business okay there are trade show events there are networking events there are workshop events there are team building events there are product launch event charity event corporate event so all of these events has their own uh, uh, purpose and goals, but you, they all follow the same steps that I've mentioned earlier. Then what are the duties of an event manager? An event manager uh, plans and organize uh, promotional business and social event. Okay, so this is for people that want to you do this as a business. Okay, they are responsible for running a range of event ensuring the target audience is engaged and the message of the event is marketed properly okay uh events play a huge part in the success of a brand and in an organization so it's very important and somebody is asking what skills are needed for event planning organization skill okay organization skill communication skill networking savvy a basic understanding of event client first approach problem solving negotiating and budgeting is very important multi-taxing anybody that want to be an event planner has to be someone who can multi-tax okay and like i said this 
if this training is basically for two type of people, people that want to run the event planning model as a business person and those that want to use the event um, model to grow their business. So you just need to leverage on this. So it's very good that you have, you have all of these skills okay or you grow in it okay it's not a must you have all of it you know, you can start learning how to use it to be able to um get the best of your events okay good how to get into event planning with no experience okay and professional certificate if you want to run this for business okay find your niche you, you know, there are people who organize this uh wedding they only focus on wedding the people that only focuses on corporate so you can focus okay like for example I, I didn't learn event planning as a business but i learned event planning to be able to um grow my business so you see me every year i run series of events to be able to reach out to the audience that i want so this is um important either you are um a business person or you want to be uh, an event planner okay so engage online engage online through social media attend local event so this is basically for those that want to be an event planner then find a mentor you guys know i don't joke with mentor research industry leaders find a mentor there's no business you want to do if you don't have mentors you rather don't start you have to get people that you can communicate with share your experience with ask questions and you can use that to do well for yourself volunteer with local organizations so you can also get hands-on process by being an intern or volunteering for an event around you where you can get to see how the organizers are putting all of that event together and you'll see how simplified um, event planning could be so when you don't have an experience these are the things you need to do okay make sure you follow through this um uh, seven um, um approach that it will help you gain mastery in the business okay so what are the top event management brands in nigeria we have um innate arts and media we have sapphire event igi event and we have pesky drop drops event interior okay so all of these people are the top people in nigeria who run event planning that you can begin to go um, learn from them if you want to become an event planner okay note that if you are new follow them and see how they manage their events in order to build your brand okay and for a lot of you that want to run event model for your business you can also reach out to these existing uh, business people uh sorry event planners that can help you plan um, a moderate a simple event that you can begin to learn from and with that you're good to go how much can uh an event planner charge if you are in nigeria a corporate event for 200 guests could be uh, uh as much as 200,000 500,000 for weddings uh 150,000 for children so it just depends on your brand and your experience some people would even charge as much as millions to be able to uh to consult okay for an event uh as an event planner so it can be any amount but this is just the range okay so that you can begin to see how people make money from event planning okay so if you have any question let me know uh, so i can take your questions because basically that's what we're going to be ending today so let me take your question let me take your question amazing lecture amazing and your lecture is easy to understand thank you so much your praise for that feedback so you guys have any question on event let me know how i can help answer your question not as an event planner okay but as somebody that is already using event um uh, organizing event and is doing well at it okay any question Any question? Mm -hmm. 
You just, no, no, you just have to start somewhere. Okay? That's the beauty of this. You just start somewhere. Just start somewhere. Just start somewhere. Sure, I've been able to pass some knowledge to you guys today as usual. Fantastic. Okay, guys. That'll be all for today. Uh, really excited. I've been able to pass some knowledge to you. And I'll see you guys again in the course of the week where we'll talk more about other business models. Have a pleasant evening, guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace out.